where do you see the trend of adoption for just the everyday user to be able to use technology like yours? The part that sucks is a lot of these headsets that are available today, people just perceive it as some sort of gaming toy thing, which is unfortunate for us for sure. For the past, I would say three years since we've been on the Oculus store, we've had to really position ourselves as a company that out of the, I don't know, I'll make it up, 20 million daily active users that exist in all the different Oculus headsets, HTC headsets, whatever, out of the 20 million around the world that exist, let's get as many of those as possible who have office jobs or desk jobs to use our app. And so we've had to sort of just look at that 20 million daily active user sort of number as our total addressable market. And even if only 10% of them use our product, well, that's still 2 million daily active users, right? Um, which is still pretty impressive for this thing on your head or this brick on your head. And we know that all of the tech giants are pouring dozens of billions of dollars into this next generation of computing, spatial computing, right? Um, Microsoft, Apple, Facebook, uh, Google, all these sort of tech giants, whether or not they announce it or not yet. We do get to see a lot of the behind the scenes. So we know who is actually getting, uh, working on hardware. But for us, we know there's a lot that's coming out that's going to make it more mainstream. The question is, though, how long will that take, right? Will it be a year or five years? It'll be probably closer to four or five years before everyone has something like that. But, you know, we're having some conversations behind the scenes to see if there's a way to push that earlier to like a year from now.